to to the intro this week. We got all these things around here, minus like two of them because because I don't know why. First up, we have Tom and Wyatt. What are they doing? They're doing some with music. It's pretty cool. Winnie's doing her bowling thing because that's what Winnie does. She bowls. Rachel White is interviewing Mr. Null about how just really radical he is. How super insane. Such a cool guy he is. Alright, see you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Alright, so this is the first music review of semester two. I'm Wyatt, this is Tom. We are doing the top songs per year. We started at the 2000 and we went to 2007. For 2000, we have uh, Breathe by Faith Hill. Um, I honestly never heard it before today. Um, it's really slow, so it's probably like if you're in like love or something, you probably listen to that. It's like a wedding song. Yeah. yeah, it's really slow and mellow, so it's not really my type of thing. So yeah, that's about it. I'd give it like a, a five out of ten, just right in the middle. A five out of ten? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say five, like five point four maybe. Two thousand one, hanging, hanging by, by a moment, moment by Lifehouse. Um, I thought it was pretty good. It's got like a nice little bass guitar, so it kind of sounds like Nirvana. Um, not just because of the bass guitar, but the singer is also like mellow. Um, he's blonde, so he kind of reminds me of Kurt Cobain. Or Wyatt. I'd give it like a 7. 6 out of 10. Okay, for 2002 we have How You Remind Me by Nickelback. I personally like, I grew up with the song my dad listens to all the time. I kind of like the song. I'm not a big fan of Nickelback, but like I'll listen to a couple of their songs. It's not my type of music, but... I think it was pretty good. I'd rate it like a, a 7, a 7 out of 10 probably. Yeah, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. So for 2003 we have In The Club by 50 Cent. That's like <laughs> your your very first like rap song or like like party song that you listen to. At least that was for me. 50 Cent was like you know, the first rap you listen to unless you're one of those old heads that listen to like Tupac or Biggie. A 6 and a half out of 10. I'd give it like, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10. 2004, we have Yeah by Usher and Lil Jon. Yeah. I didn't like it. Um, it's just Lil Jon's kind of obnoxious. Um, Usher's voice really isn't my like style. I'd give it like a 4 and 10. Why you gotta rate it? Yeah, he's thinking, I'd, he's thinking. Yeah, I was thinking. I'd say it's like a um, it's like a 6 out of 10, I guess. Alright, so it's 2005. It's a uh, Feel Good Inc. Incorporated by Gorillaz. I've never heard of him before. I learned about him probably like two days ago. Yeah. And then to see that this is a top song in 2005, I've never heard of him. I've never even heard of this song. Mm -hmm. This song reminds me of Jimmy Neutron. It reminds me of the intro. Not really Jimmy Neutron, but like the intro to it. The intro when he's shooting across. Yeah, the and the little rocket and his little dog. I'd give it like a four, four to ten. I'd give it like a three, three out of ten. So for 2006, we have Bad Day by Daniel Powder. Um, Elvin and the Chipmunks is all I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, 2007 we have Irreplaceable by Beyonce. Apparently everyone thinks Beyonce is a queen. The only reason I think she's relevant is because she's married to Jay-Z. Yes, that's true. That true. She makes more money than him though. No, she doesn't. Jay-Z's a billionaire. Next time we do this, we'll do some better ones because, you know, they're newer, so they're more our style. Except for a few. Like 2013 is not going to be a good one. What's 2013? We'll get to it. We'll get yeah, to it. Yeah, this next episode. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching me and Wyatt. Goodbye. Some of you may have heard Bowling Team is going to state. Woo! I'm excited. For the fourth year in a row, I have Lauren Bodeman and Madison Gertz. Lauren is one of the three seniors on the girls team and Madison is the only junior. We're going to talk about bowling and why you should go out next year. What's your best memory? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure. I have a lot of good memories. <laughs> <laughs> I only have a favorite one. Why should people go out for bowling? Uh, we lose a lot of people next year so we need a lot of spots to film. Can anyone go out for bowling? Yeah. I've always liked to eat. That's like our main priority. <laughs> you, have like to, you have to eat a yeah. lot. My favorite memory would probably be seeing Two years in a row individually at state and then winning state three years in a row so far. And all like big jokes we have together and all the when we go out to eat. We have a lot of inside jokes together, so it's it's good.
good. So why should people go out for bowling? Uh, people should go out for bowling because it's fun and you don't have to be super good at it. We have That's what coaches coach. are for, right? That's why yeah. I have amazing That's why we coach Al Jordan. Me. Yeah, Al Jordan. Leslie yeah. Morris. And Brandon Lessinger. Oh, we have all of awesome. them. My favorite memory? Yeah, what's your favorite yeah. memory? <laughs> I think it would have to be driving with Al. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, it's been pretty fun. It, when Al's driving, he cranks up the music and he makes us laugh. Oh he drives God. on the rumble strips. <laughs> oh my God. Bowling is fun. You just have to have fun. You don't have to be good at it. People should go out for bowling because it's fun. We do Secret Santa. Oh yeah. You eat a lot of food. Mm -hmm. We eat a lot of food. And you always have someone on the team to talk to, especially if you get your friends to go out with you. We have funny nicknames. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just nicknames in general. This is Lefty, because for the longest time she was the only Lefty on the team. This is Nugget, or Thumper Nugget, oh or God. Mad Dog. Yeah. I call her Nugget, other people call her Thumper, and then a few of the parents on the team call her Mad Dog. Maddie got her nickname Nugget because she ate chicken nuggets in one day. One day! No, she was, ate it, like, was it 26 or 36? 25. 25. 25. <laughs> I'm Peanut. My or mom. Beast. Or, or Beast. Or, you know, whatever. It's okay. <laughs> Generally what we're saying is, you should go out for bowling because you want it's to. Fun. And it's fun. Yeah. It is fun. Yeah. It's very fun. Just try it, bro. Oh yeah, oh, Rachel. Wow. I've heard bowling's fun. You're going to state on Monday. Yeah, I'm not busy Monday. Can I go? You can go watch. We bowl at 10 at Cadillac Lanes in Waterloo. In Waterloo. Wear your falcon gear. Bar, Wear your falcon road. gear. It's really loud. And or bring some boys headphones. are going too. Oh yeah, oh, and, and the boys. boys. Wow, we have boys and girls going this year. So come support. Yeah. Staff appreciation goes out to the one and only, the one that you guys have all been waiting for. No, 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 Lord, no. So today is actually super duper special because it is Mr. Noel's birthday. Um, Trenton Brewer emailed me and he said that it was Mr. Noel's birthday and that all of you guys should go wish Mr. Noel a happy birthday because he will greatly appreciate that. So two things that Mr. Noel loves and I have no knowledge about is football and video games. To go into the football side of things, Mr. Noel is a huge Green Bay Packers fan and from what I heard I'm pretty sure they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. And to go into the video game side of things, I literally don't even... I'm not even good at Minecraft and I don't think that you can lose at that game. So, so Mr. Noel actually hosts a game night every month, if you guys don't know about that. Um, there's Uno, Magic, card games, board games, and all types of stuff that you guys will absolutely love. Another thing that you guys might not know about Mr. Noel is he actually graduated from L&M. This is his 15th year teaching here, which is a huge accomplishment, so go wish him my 15th year anniversary of being here. So as you guys know, Mr. Knoll is a science teacher here at O&M, and as a senior looking back now, I remember a little bit about biology, earth science, all that type of stuff, but really what sticks out to me about Mr. Knoll is how much integrity plays a part in his character at L&M. So if you don't know what integrity means, I'll read you the definition. It means the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. If that isn't Mr. Knoll, I don't know who it is. He is always a guy that always sticks to his beliefs and knows what is right and sticks to it. And that's really hard to find in people nowadays. Like, sometimes it's hard to stick to your beliefs because it's not the cool thing to do. So, to you underclassmen that are taking Mr. Noel's classes right now, or maybe your incoming freshman, um, just pay attention to Mr. Noel's character. He is a great guy and he knows what's right and he always sticks to his beliefs and that is definitely something that we all need to take note of. So, my parting words to you, Mr. Noel, is don't be that guy. Thanks. Oh, and Mr. Noel, am I your favorite student? Probably not. <laughs> you wanna try again? I would say yes. Thanks for watching, cool kids! <laughs> Peace! Dogs! Do I look pretty?